Go to easymutt.com. Use code CUTE for 10% off right now. There's a link down below me buying coins step by step. Or you can even buy points now. The new technology. It's banned free. Stop gambling your money. All right, guys, we're back. Top 10 theme teams. I just did the top 10 budget beasts. Up next, we have a top 10 wide receivers. Video two of three today. Anything you want is on this channel. Best pass rushers, cornerback tier list, whatever you want. So check it out. Now, let's go ahead and get started here with the Cowboys. On the offensive side, you're going to want actually Aikman in, not Dak. He's going to get set feet lead. And that's what you need to squeeze the ball in there, especially in the red zone. When stuff gets a little bit tighter. Now, you do get some newer wide receivers with Dion and Cooper. So the wide receivers are actually nice here. You got Gilmore, Michael Irvin. Now, I'm not a big fan of those Luke Hardy's missing thresholds. And, yeah, moving to the defensive side of the ball, safeties are not looking great. Uh, this card is outdated. You're saying I like his ability. I'm going to tell you right now, his speed and his thresholds are not the best. So, uh, with that being said, Parsons is a good blitzer, of course. And you got Carmichael is wonderful. And you even get Ed Too Tall and Wall. So, yeah, they're pretty nice on the defensive side even. But... Who's number nine? Guys, we do have the Dolphins here. Julius Thomas is legit. This offensive line is shaky. But make sure you get Dan and not Tua because it's set feet lead. And I will say, at least they just got to upgrade it. Running back Ricky Williams is going to get the job done. I like this card, actually. Now, Tyreek Hill with 97 speed with 50 Dolphins is going to be just stupid good. And Chris Carter is actually good enough. And Mac actually will surprise you. Uh, I know he's a little on the slow side, but I will say Mac is dependable in traffic, guys. I've gave him so many targets on so many different days. He's just very reliable on defense. You do have Jones and Darius. Chubb's a good blitzer. And I, you know what? So is Andrew, guys. Andrew only throws a finesse move. That's what he's good at. So he's actually effective. Mario Williams gets pressure. And you even get Jalen Ramsey and Troy Vincent. So, yeah, Dolphins are pretty balanced overall. The Titans are next, guys, and they're loaded. I mean, this is crazy. You do get Derrick Henry and Chris Johnson. So if you just spam running the ball, there you go. You're going to love it. You even get Randy Moss, A.J. Brown, and Julio. All these guys are great. Will Levis is way better than Derrick Henry. Make sure you put Will Levis in and gets better abilities and a better release. Now, Jack Tatum is going to be sweet. Terry can get the job done. I do not like Hooker, but I will say... Randy Moss is obviously the best cornerback in the game. Javon Trurs gets the job done here and gets some pressure for you. So does Brian. Brian's actually okay. So keep that in mind. The Chiefs are next. And man, on the offensive side, is this even fair? You get Tony Gonzalez, Rice, Hill. Tony's actually a, a okay budget guy. But I would not recommend running them if you have a lot of coins because of his catch and traffic spec catch is not the best. But... I will say, having Peyton Hills, he is a monster. Patrick Mahomes gets the job done. He has a good release, set feet lead. On the defensive side, the safeties get a little bit shaky over at the free safety spot, but you do get Barry and Isaiah, so keep that in mind. Derek Thomas is a good blitzer. They just got a lot of updates here on this team. Trell Suggs is going to be great to get some pressure. Now, you do get Ward and Peters. Now, that's not elite, and so it kind of holds this team back. It's just remember that Peters is okay, but not great, right? And I will say that Daryl Rivas at this point, he's just outdated. But yeah, the Chiefs are pretty solid. The Panthers are next, and I do like this Greg Olsen card in the red zone. Gilmore gets a job done, so does DJ Moore. CMC is just so good. And yeah, Baker does get set for lead. In case you didn't know, they did update his ability. So... He's not the best, but he's not the worst. And I really like this secondary with, with Peppers, Tillman, Douglas. This team here is great in the right spot because that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to boost those skilled positions, and that's what they're good at. So Julius Peppers here, you're not going to get this card because you're going to get this card. So just remember, he does not really count. But this Reggie White card is actually good. He gets 90 finesse and power move and strength, and he gets double or nothing. So actually, this Reggie White card is going to show up and luke is wonderful still uh speed block shed and it gets lurk artists there you go the falcons are here and they do get big tony g Deion sanders calvin julio and vic at running back with vic at quarterback and yes you can run both of them at the same time which is silly but it's true 
So yeah, their offense is stacked. On the defensive side, they just got Bates, which I really like in this nail card. Obviously, you cannot use at this point, or you will just get toasted. Devin Hester just got to upgrade. Samuel still usable, actually. And yeah, I do like this team. I think uh, really, if you're going to build this team, I'd probably build just to 25. And on the offensive side, guys, it's going to be hard to pass this up. Two bigs, Dion and Tony Gonzalez, just to mention a few names here. They're pretty nice. Now the Ravens are here, and Shannon Sharp is going to be a nice target. So is Dion Odell, and this Deshaun Jackson card is a little bit better than you think. Now they just finally got a running back on their team. This Bell card was bad, and Lamar Jackson is the best release in the game. So on the offensive side, you are stacked. Now, I wish Ed was a little bit faster. If you get 93 speed, he's going to be okay in zone. But I will say, look at the linebackers here, guys. They are stacked. These are some of the best linebackers in the game. So if you like to run like a 3-4 or something, these guys are going to be wonderful for you. Now, Kyle Hamilton is good. Just remember, he does not get deep out zone KO. He's missing abilities. I just want you to be aware before you buy this card. This guy does not get the best abilities. Now, they do get the new... Peters and Hester so they got a big upgrade here at the cornerback position with a good pass rush and the best release in the game having Lamar Ravens are elite now the Chicago Bears are just crazy you do get Jimmy and Greg so in the red zone you can really just throw some high balls now Cordell Patterson still fine to dump the ball off to William Perry's the best quarterback in the game look at his AP stack nobody's even close he does get the best AP stack. He has the best release. He's fast. You get Sweat and DJ Moore. And you know what? Allen Robinson's underrated. This card actually shows up. And I gave him so many targets. This card is good. Now, uh, on the defensive side. And on the defensive side, guys, you do get Pepper, Sweat, and Smith, which is crazy. You just don't have a free safety. But they just got two really good cornerbacks recently. They got Tillman and Hester. So, yeah, that being said, William Perry's actually good at defensive tackle because he gets inside stuff. So, yeah, with this being said, the Bears are really not. The Eagles are here, guys, and they're ready to fly. You do have A.J. Brown, Julio, both Vicks, which is just a troll. But Perry is better than Vic at quarterback, so there you go. So you do get the best quarterback in the game. And why is Perry better? Because he has a better AP setup and a better release. There you go. Now, the safeties I'm not the biggest fans of, but Troy Vincent gets the job done. Douglas is fine. Samuel's good. Hurst gets the pressure. Dalen Carter gets inside stuff. So does Wayne Perry. So these guys right here are going to really help against the inside run. I really do like that. And that of course, Harold Carmichael is going to be legit. And so is Nolan Smith. Nolan Smith is going to be a pretty good rusher, but man, Carmichael is your user. You're going to love it. Number one, guys, we're talking about the 49ers. You get the fastest tight end. You get Davis, you get Moss, and you get Dion. I mean, that should be enough right there. I mean, the speed you're going to get is insane. CMC is just great. You're going to love him. Debo actually gets the job done. I really like that card, actually. On the defense side, you get Hanks. He's okay, and zone you can actually still run a lot if you just boost the speed and you do get randy moss the best cornerback in the game do not forget about ward he's actually better than that Dion card and you know what getting some help on the defensive line they have got that done lately and that's really going to help you now fred warner's obviously great so is patrick willis he gets the job done patrick willis gets good zone and good block shed and he gets what lurk artist so there you go 49ers guys are just stacked let me know who your number one team is or who you're running down below that was it guys i already did the top 10 budget beast have videos up right now up next we do have the top 10 wide receivers i'll see you then over at easymutt.com right now guys new technology you can buy the points at 50 percent off and get an additional 10 percent off when you use my code so what are you waiting on you can still buy your coins or the points whatever you want Go save your money. Save NBAMT.com. You enjoy 2K24 right now. Get 10% off using code CUTE. Go get the player you want. Go build the player you want. Look at these prices. They're absolutely ridiculous.